Pelosi versus Mnuchin. The number one question that I get on a regular basis is what will happen between Pelosi and Mnuchin come the day after election night? Will they still be talking? What will they be talking about? What will be the path? Will there be a path? Or will there be much of nothing? It's a big twist, and today we know a little bit more about it. This is Afternoons LA Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Afternoons LA with a special broadcast of Pelosi versus Mnuchin with big twists and turns and more revelation about what the Temple of Doom is doing and not doing and what Mnuchin is doing but may not be doing come after election night. Go to Fun's channel, subscribe. 300,000 subscribers, we're 7,000 away. Let's get it. 7,000, let's get it. Also, like this video. In this video, I'll be going over really this unusual timeline and what Donald Trump said about it overnight to Savannah Guthrie, what you should be worried about, what you should be focused on and where you should be applying your purple power pressure. Also, I'll be going over why these deal items could twist very quickly and really ramp up into a vocal issue of public opinion. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is the is the, the last thing I just said, which is that the president overnight to Savannah Guthrie during a NBC town hall said that he will go higher. I've been reporting that for 24 hours and I've been reporting for three months. The president will go to $2 trillion. The question is what day and how it will work. This is my prediction. I don't know it is fact. It is my prediction. My prediction is that on the leave of the election, the president will go to twelve two trillion. He'll make the offer and he'll make the media pitch that Nancy Pelosi rejected two trillion because she wanted two point two trillion, and that ultimately it's her blame and her fault that you don't have stimulus because he has offered a very good deal of two trillion. Two trillion will be the exact amount of the first stimulus package from March. So there's no reason to think that two is bad now but was good in March. Second, it'll be double the amount of the Obama administration's stimulus package when he came into office. So by all accounts, the president's pitch to the American press and the American voter that $2 trillion is sufficient and should be accepted is an easy pitch. Everyone will accept it. The question is whether Nancy Pelosi will know the correct pushback. The correct pushback to the president is, okay, you're giving this to me now. Why didn't you give me a $2 trillion offer in July when I asked for it? We could have had that stimulus in the economy back in July. Nancy Pelosi has not really pushed back well in her, in her media pushes. And so ultimately, it may be a he says, she says. What's important to understand when we do Pelosi versus Mnuchin, if you did not watch the McConnell versus Trump video, is that McConnell's a non-factor. McConnell has, has actually admitted, and the president said overnight, that whatever the president gets done and agreed with, with Temple of Doom, the GOP, the senators that are Republicans in the Senate, the GOP leaders, those cheap guys, will agree to what the president wants. What Mitch McConnell's doing next week is only for his own political future. It's not to fight the president. It's not to work against the president. It's to basically say, hey, I am a good guy. Re-elect me as your senator for Kentucky and keep me as your majority or minority leader of the Senate because I look out for you, my buddies in the Senate. It's not to fight against the president. And in fact, nowhere in Mitch's comments does he say, I won't support the president. He just says, I like my bill. Okay, you like your bill. The president likes his bill. <laughs> <laughs> he likes his, he likes his. That doesn't mean I don't like the president's bill. What's important to understand is that this is not unusual. It's not out of the ordinary. It's very typical in politics. But what's important to understand is that issue of the day after the election. It is a really strange twist of events because what's important to understand is that there's a great deal off on the table that gives you a lot of money and you may not see that deal put pen to paper in the next 18 days. What are the deal items? Let me go over this. $1,200 stimulus checks for individuals. Okay, good. $2,400 for a couple. Okay, even better. Dependents who are adults. 
you're getting a stimulus check. <gasps> yes, you're getting a stimulus check. How much is it? Is it a watered down stimulus check? No, it's a full stimulus check. Full stimulus check. Oh my God, finally. None of that crap with a watered down stimulus check. Full stimulus check for adult dependents. So, wait, who are the adult dependents? My viewers on SSDI, SSI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, my viewers who were dependents on someone else's tax return did not get a stimulus check in May or March of this year under the first stimulus package. Guess what? This time you're getting a full stimulus darn check, $1,200. Every adult gets $1,200 under Steve Mnuchin's plan. It doesn't matter if you file taxes, don't file taxes. Do file taxes, you know, gray hair, green hair, purple hair, you're getting $1,200. Not taking out for child support, not taking out for debt collections, not taking out for back taxes. All really great news. It gets better. Yeah, it gets better. Children, $1,000 stimulus check for children. So they're going to... A better stimulus check than the Democrats, which are only 500. Next, multiple checks. Will there be multiple checks? Not in this bill, but Steve Mnuchin, the president, has always said they'll do multiple stimulus checks. This is a stimulus package that's supposed to be for September or August. And, you know, now we're looking at it becoming law, you know, not today, not next week, but, you know, sometime. Uh, what day does it become a law? Well, maybe it's next week. What day does it become law? So after this becomes law, there would be another stimulus package after that, and that could potentially have another round of stimulus checks. Mnuchin has already said. So all really great news. FPC, bigger FPC, more weeks of FPC, more benefits of FPC, retroactive, mid-September, $400 a week, no LWA $100 threshold, all really, really, really great news. So how do we get from that forward. How do we get from that to the finish line? Well, these are the things you need to understand. One, throw out any of those comments. If you see someone draw, say, writing this comment, just ignore it because it's wrong. Mitch is going to block what the president does. False. Absolutely false. Just You, you want to say a fake, fake narrative? Good. It's, it's a fake narrative. It's, it's absolutely categorically untrue. Mitch will do his bill next week and he'll die. <laughs> He'll be dead about, you know, 20 minutes after it's introduced. And then all eyes will be back on the president's bill. Okay, Mitch is not going to block the president's bill. That's the truth of the matter. Second, um, Nancy Pelosi is never going to give any deal to anyone until the day after the election. Very, very, very possible. So that's 18 days away. So what happens the day after the election? This is where it becomes complicated. And boy, there's a reason why I pause, because I want to make sure that I can even explain it to you in a simple way that you can digest. First, the day after the election, two things potentially could happen. Biden could be your next president, but will not be sworn in until January. And your Senate could be Democratic, but they won't be sworn in until January. So will Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin chat the day after and do a deal and do a deal so that there's a stimulus package done by the Trump administration all ready to go for Joe Biden when he comes into office and is sworn in in mid-January? It's your comment to make. I have my opinion. I say no. I don't think this president is going to give you a stimulus package, is going to give Joe Biden a stimulus package for his uh, term in office. I just don't think so. What happens if the president wins re-election, but the Senate does go Democratic? So at that point, Mitch is not in control. The Democrats can pass Pelosi's bill. Will the president sign Pelosi's bill? He has to. I mean, at that point, he has no core, he has no chess moves to block Pelosi Trump by saying, I'm a two trillion, you're a two two, I'm only gonna do two. Well, he does have the veto power. <laughs> Let's just say that. He does have the veto power. There's a way to override his veto. But um, ultimately, you could see a stimulus package approved after election night if Trump wins, but the Senate goes Democratic. Next, if nothing changes, <laughs> Mitch, the, the Senate repains Republican, the president remains uh, re-elected, what would you see the next day? You would absolutely see, you know, stimulus done the next day. Ironically, 
if you don't see what's going on here, I would assume that Trump is going to take what I just, those last three sentences I just said to you, and repeat them as a campaign slogan. Because ultimately, keeping Trump in office gets you your stimulus package sooner. And that electing Joe Biden gets your stimulus package later. Really? Interesting. Understand that if a stimulus package is passed in March of next, it's February of next year, you're not going to see a stimulus into your hand until April. That's what makes this so confusing. Um, Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi are negotiating every day. They're negotiating every day. They're spending about an hour a day. They're talking. They're not briefing us. So I want you to understand that because you don't see uh, the same suspects of news articles published every 12 hours saying, Steve said this, Nancy said this, just because you don't see it doesn't mean that Steve and Nancy aren't doing anything. They're negotiating every day for about one hour. What are they doing? They're basically, Steve Mnuchin's going higher every single day. He's about 1.85 now. He's heading to two. He will go to two, in my opinion. My, this is my personal opinion. Um, the question is when and will there be sort of a splash about it, a media splash? I think there will. So you're going to see a little bit of pushing, pushing, and ultimately the question is then what? Um, I've seen a lot of comments about Pelosi particularly, so let me answer those questions. First, people ask me, how do you vote Pelosi out? Well, you have to be a resident of her district in California to vote for her or against her. So if you're not, you can't vote Pelosi out. Second, um, is, does she have a competitor? Yes, she has a competitor. Is he someone that gets high regards in media coverage? He does not. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why you've not heard me mention him. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Uh, third, what does it take to get Nancy Pelosi removed as Speaker of the House? It just basically gets, you know, the Democrats to choose another person. It's as simple as that. So we can have an entire Purple Power push to say, hey, choose another House Speaker of the House. You know, she's still Senator, excuse me, still Representative, but she's just not Speaker of the House. She ran against Hillary Clinton's um, uh, VP running mate a few years ago for Speaker of the House. For Speaker of the House. So she always has run against someone. She just keeps on winning. So. Will she win this time? Well, we shall see. Next, what does it take to get Nancy Pelosi removed as the negotiator from the stimulus package negotiations? Just a movement. I mean, just purple power. It, 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 it predates this channel. So I do not know at what point everyone rolled over and died and made Nancy Pelosi God to negotiate stimulus with one person. It, it, you know... The moment in which Donald Trump agreed to have Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi be the single little voice to negotiate the stimulus package, he should have absolutely kicked himself in the foot because that was the stupidest move he made. You never should have had the stimulus package negotiated by two people because ultimately it just caused massive problems. Now, I understand that, that, that Chuck Schumer and Mark Meadows were in there initially, but even four people. The first stimulus package was negotiated by dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people were involved in negotiations. It wasn't a two-person game. This two-person game is why you're at problems here. And so I don't know when that happened or how it happened, but I got to tell you, if history ever repeats itself, this will be a lesson to the American people. Don't ever delegate duties of such magnitude to two people. It's insane. It's categorically insane. Steve Mnuchin hasn't done, done, done a perfect job either. So there we go. Hopefully I've answered your questions about the Temple of Doom and you understand the situation a little bit clearer. Um, boy, so much and so <laughs> and, and, and so many twists and turns. So let me answer some of your incredible questions from yesterday. Nut and Cracker, the bill goes bigger, the people should get more money. That's very true. Patty Smith, it sounds greedy when she won't give it and she coming out of her own pocket. Linda, why does Pelosi have this much hatred towards our president? She does have a lot of hatred. <laughs> Colin Pierre, and he said unto them, why are you so fearful? Mark 440. Christina, if Gucci doesn't take Mnuchin's deal, there will be a vote against the biblical storm. Gucci? <laughs> <laughs> it says Gucci. Uh, Grammy, Grammy Love. They better announce in the morning they have a deal or Nancy better step down. Well, they did it. Christina. Probably because he knows she won't take it. 
the NLAs, they need to raise our stimulus checks. Wayne Nels Nation, uh, Nancy's playing with people's lives and she needs to be stopped. Something needs to be done about her. Put someone else in there to get this deal done. People need help now. I agree. Uh, Randy Pierce, how do these people sleep at night knowing there are completely thousands of people that will go to sleep with no food or shelter? Completely dis dis uh, dis disgraceful. It is disgraceful. Uh, A1 Marvin, Pelosi does not make a sense. No one, everyone knows that. Charlie, since Trump wants more money for the people, how about a bigger bill? Can we all have back pay for $1,200 from April to October? You know, I, I agree about that as well. I mean, you keep on hearing the president's going higher, 1.8, 1.85, 2. You went from 3, 1.3 to 1.8. How much has our stimulus checks gone up? I mean, how about you start sending more money to us? It's just more money for other things that don't concern us. Uh, Brenda Beard, Trump knows of where he's taking this train. Nancy's going to miss hers. <laughs> I love your comments. Drop your comments below. I might feature them tomorrow's recording. As always, uh, let's do it. Go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Boy, what a day it's been. Coming up is Evenings Out of Light. Stay tuned because I have big developments on that. Stay tuned for Evenings Out of Light. Two broadcasts, Evenings Out of Light and then Purple Power. Starting about 6.45 p.m. and then at 7 o'clock p.m., two major developments. Also like this video. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay out of light for more. Thank you.